Good afternoon. Uh, as pastor, I want to welcome all of you to our young people's presentations of the Stations of the Cross. This is part of our annual tradition here at Our Lady of the Woods, uh, and we are very grateful to these young people for the time and energy they have put in to help us to pray together and to remember the suffering of Jesus. A couple things before we begin, if people could make sure they uh, turn off their cell phones. Secondly, uh, th this is a prayer and uh, we always respect that. So we do ask uh, that you not applaud at the end of this because it is not a play. It is a prayer, and our silence will speak to these young people a great deal about how well they are performing and presenting the story of Jesus' suffering. Afterwards, of course, feel free to congratulate them uh, in the, church, in the uh, gathering space in front of the church. Thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Our Lady of the Woods presentation of the Passion and Death of Our Lord Jesus Christ. This presentation will require your participation. At the conclusion of each station, you will hear the narrator say, Lord Jesus crucified, after which we will ask you to respond, have mercy on us. Shall we practice? Lord Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Let's try one more time. Lord Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Thank you for your participation. These 14 steps that you're now about to take with us, we do not take alone. Jesus walks with each of us. Though you are you and he is Jesus, we are truly one, one Christ. And therefore, his way of the cross 2,000 years ago and your way now are also one. But note the difference. His life is incomplete until he crowned it by his death. Your 14 steps will only be complete when you have crowned, it, crowned them by your life. The Passion and Death of Our Lord Jesus Christ. I am the living bread. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. The bread that I will give you is my flesh for the life of the world. Bread is an important item in our diets. It is a staple food used for our nourishment. It fills us, giving us energy to live our lives to the fullest. Bread had an important meaning to Jesus, a Jewish man. From the time his people had been freed from slavery in Egypt, they had used unleavened bread as a symbol of God's presence among them. He had led them as they passed over from slavery to freedom, the Passover. Jesus uses bread to describe the gift of his life because bread gives and nourishes life. The Last Supper. At 
the Last Supper, Jesus gave us this bread. It was an important moment for him. He was completely aware of his Father's call. Jesus knew death was close. He wanted to show his disciples how he would be present to his followers after he died. Every time we celebrate the gift of Eucharist, we remember Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. Eucharist is a special gift given out of love. Jesus offers himself to his Father for us. At this special meal of the Eucharist, we receive Jesus, the bread of life. We, invite, we are invited to become bread for others, to give them strength and a fuller life. Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Father, if you are willing, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, let your will be done, not mine. Have you ever had to do something that was so hard that you were afraid you might fail? You know you must do the task, but all you want to do is run away. Maybe you could wait until someone comes to help you or possibly do the job for you. Jesus must have felt that way after supper was over. He went to a quiet garden to pray and talk things over with God, his Father. His friends were of no help. They did not know Jesus would die soon. They got tired and fell asleep as Jesus struggled with his prayers. Jesus was afraid. He knew his good works and sermons had angered the leaders. They were angry because he would not stop preaching and serving the people. He expressed his fears in his prayers, asking the Father to take away his troubles. At times, many of us say prayers asking for help with our problems. As we look at this time in Jesus' journey, let us ask for courage to face our own responsibilities when they seem very difficult. Remember, Jesus' love for his Father was so great, he ended his prayer with, If this is what you want from me, I will do it. Your will be done, not mine. Station 1. Jesus is condemned to die. Jesus is brought to Pontius Pilate on false charges of treason. The crowd is demanding. Pilate washes his hands of the situation. Could these really be the same people who cried Hosanna a few days ago? Now they are screaming for me to be crucified. Even the lies they have made up for me don't deserve this kind of punishment. How often do I go along with the crowd instead of standing up for what I believe in? Do I let others do my thinking because I want to be their friends? Would I have joined the crowd con condemning Jesus? Lord, I am sorry for the times I might have hurt others instead of standing up for what I believe in. Lord Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Station two, Jesus accepts his cross. The soldiers ripped the clothes off of Jesus. They all laughed at him and took turns hitting him. One soldier got the bright idea to dress Jesus up to look like the king of the Jews. They placed an old robe about his shoulders and laughed. One soldier found a stick and placed it in his hand as a king's ruling scepter. Jesus just hung his head down. He was very sad. Then another soldier looked around for a king's crown. He saw some sticker bushes nearby and pulled a few strands out. He rolled them up into a crown and stuck it on Jesus' head. He pushed it down hard until the thorns went into his skin and he began to bleed. They all laughed very hard. They even bowed down on their knees, laughing at this funny-looking king. They said, They were tired of making a fool out of Jesus, so they got up. One soldier took the robe off of Jesus. 
Another quickly grabbed the stick out of his hand, and he beat him again. They all laughed again. The soldiers put the, Jesus' clothes back on him and took him out of the jail. The heavy rough cross is lifted onto Jesus' shoulders by a weary, frightened carpenter. Angry soldiers order Jesus to start carrying the cross. Father, your will is what I want to do here. Give me the strength to carry this heavy cross and with it the injustices of the world. I know that this is the beginning of my tough and lonely walk. Please, walk it with me. Lord, you were accused of a crime that you didn't commit. How often do I get accused of things that I didn't do? How do I deal with things that aren't fair? Jesus helps me to accept the burdens of my life the way you accepted the burden of your cross. Lord Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Station three, Jesus falls for the first time. The cross is heavy, and the road is long and hard. Jesus slumps to the ground. How many times have I walked along here? I don't remember the road being so rough or the distance so long. Let me get up. Let me get up. What are some things that cause me to stumble and fall? How do I handle it when I fall? Do I just quit? Jesus, even though you have been beaten, whipped, crowned with thorns, and carried a heavy cross, you got up when you fell. Help me get up when I fall. Lord Jesus crucified. Mercy on us. Station four, Jesus meets his mother. Mary, along with Mary Magdalene and John, are worried by the troubles of Jesus. They watch the final horror, Jesus' long walk to Calvary. Please, not my mother. Let her, don't let her see me like this. As much as it hurts me, I know it hurts her more. She doesn't deserve this. Her love has been incredible. Sometimes when I make selfish choices, others are hurt. Jesus, it must have been awful to look into your mother's eyes at that time. Help me to remember how much love it takes to care for someone. Help me to accept love from those who love me and to return their love. Lord Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Station five. Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. is heavy and Jesus is weak from abuse. Soldiers grab a bystander named Simon and order him to help. I don't know who you are friend but thanks for helping me. I really need it right now. Every part of my body hurts but my heart hurts the most. Jesus you accepted help when things were tough. How willing am I to help let others help me? I can't go through life alone. I have to let people help me along the way. Lord Jesus crucified. Mercy on us. Station six, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. A woman of compassion reaches out to wipe the face of Jesus. The image of his face is imprinted on the cloth. I can't believe this woman is willing to take a risk to care for me. It is great to know that there are people who care. People of compassion still touch the needs of those who are hurting with kind words and compassionate deeds. It only takes a moment to stop and listen. 
How willing am I to be a Veronica to someone who is struggling? Jesus, give me the courage to help others, even if it means being embarrassed. Lord Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Station 7. Jesus falls a second time. Jesus falls again until he's roughly pulled to his feet. This is really killing me. I can hardly do this, even with help, and there is still a long way to go. What am I struggling with that makes me want to give up? Jesus, sometimes I'm overwhelmed when I get tired and I feel I can't go on. Remind me that you got back up on your feet and kept going. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Station 8, Jesus speaks to the weeping women and children. Jesus pauses on his road to console women and children who are crying about his situation. You women and children know so much with your hearts and have shown me so much love. Take care of one another as you have taken care of me. When things are tough, it is easy to feel sorry for myself. Help me to put aside my feelings and feel the love of others. Lord Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Station 9. Jesus falls for the third time. The lack of sleep, the scourging, the pain of the thorns on his head. The long road pushes Jesus once more to the ground. I won't give up. I'm not going to let it end here. Father, lift me up. Give me the strength to go just a little further. I know there is more to do. Who has shown me how to get back up and go on with my life? Jesus, sometimes I want to give up. You have put people in my life to help me get up. Thank you. Lord Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Station 10. Jesus is stripped of his garments. The road ends at the top of a hill. Jesus' clothes are stripped from him, leaving him exposed in front of the crowd. They hurt my body, and now they humiliate me in front of everyone. They have taken everything. All I have left is myself. Many of us have nice clothes, cell phones, computers, and other material goods. What would I have left if those were gone? Lord, when they took everything from you, that you couldn't take the one thing that was you, your love for us. Help me to carry your love and respect to others. Lord Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Station 11. Jesus is nailed to the cross. The soldiers roughly throw Jesus onto the cross he has been carrying. The executioners nail his hands and feet to the wood. Forgive them, Father. They are only doing what others are telling them to do. 
For every hit, forgive them for what they do. Am I forgiving of those who nail me? What about the nails I drive into others? Jesus, help me to choose not to nail others and teach me to forgive those who have hurt me. Lord Jesus crucified, mercy on us. Station 12, Jesus dies on the cross. I am thirsty. Father, forgive them. John, take care of my mother. Father, into your hands I give my spirit. After three long hours on the cross, Jesus dies. You gave us all you had. Thank you, Jesus, for giving your all for us. Give me the courage to love like you, no matter what the cost. Lord Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Station 13. Jesus is taken down from the cross. The body of Jesus hangs limp. Come, cut down from the cross, bleeding and broken, he is placed into the arms of his mother. Your limp body is taken down and laid into the arms of the people who loved you. How do I deal with loss or death of someone I love? Jesus, the feelings you give me are good. Help me to be in touch with my feelings and deal with them in an honest way. Help me understand the sadness, anger, and disbelief that those who loved you must have felt after your death. Lord Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Station 14. Jesus is laid in the tomb. Relatives and friends carry the body of Jesus to the grave, roll a boulder in front of the entrance, and silently withdraw. Are there any relationships I have had to bury because they have died? How about family members or a friend who has died? How do I say goodbye and let go? I bet there was crying and loneliness among your friends after you died. Jesus, help me to always have hope and strength in the knowledge that in you there is eternal life. Lord Jesus crucified. I told you at the start, Jesus' life was not complete until crowned by his death. Your way is not complete unless you crown it by your life. Accept each moment as it comes to you with faith and trust that all has Jesus' mark on it. Simply, this is all it takes. Breathing in your heart, I want it, Lord. So seek him not in far off places. He is close at hand. Your office, car, kitchen, school, these are altars where you offer love. And Jesus is with you there. Go on, take up your cross, and with your life, complete your way.
you would join me in silence as I read this prayer from one of the great Jesuit saints, St. Alphonsus Rodriguez. Jesus, love of my soul and center of my heart, why am I not more eager to endure the pain and tribulations for love of you? When you, my God, have suffered so much for me. Let this be my joy, to follow you, my Savior, and to find my consolation with you who died on the cross. Let this be my happiness, my pleasure, to live with you, Lord Jesus, to walk with you, to converse with you, and to suffer with and for you. Let this be my treasure. Amen.